Hello! Sometimes you might want to rename hundreds of files or convert hundreds of thousands of images. You just want to do something repetitively again, 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 and again. You have two choices. One, you could spend almost one week slowly opening every single file, converting them, or renaming them. Or two, you could use Apple's built-in Automator. Automator is a special application that allows you to script things to repeat repetitive tasks. When you run it, it continues and does it repetitively until the task is completed. This is extremely useful if you want to do things that you continuously repeat, like, for example, converting image from one type to another or renaming hundreds and thousands of files. Instead of talking about it, let me show you. It's actually quite easy. Let's get started. Welcome to my desktop running macOS Sierra 10.12. As always, I'll be using a number of teaching aids. From time to time, you can see me clicking on the screen and there are feedback to show you that I'm clicking my mouse. Also, you can see me zooming in and zooming out. This is to focus your attention on areas of the interface that could be too small for you to see if this was a full-size video. So, Automator, where is it? That would be the first question. You can find it very simply by clicking on Spotlight and typing the word A-U-T-O, Auto, and you can see that the first result is Automator, the cute robot holding what appears to be a pen. So, what does it do? And just in case you want to find where Automator is, you can go to the Applications folder, and the Applications folder, alphabetically, Automator. It's a very cute robot holding a pipe, and when you launch it, the first thing that you will see is that it asks you to choose a type of workflow. Now, as I said earlier in the introduction, I said that Automator allows you to automate repetitive tasks. So you can see that there are some suggestions here. It could be an application, it could be a service, a print plugin, dictation command, image capture calendar, folder action. All these are useful, but for the sake of letting you understand how it works, we will start with workflow. As long as you know how the workflow works, you can save it as an application or you can prepare as a folder action. All this use the same workflow method. Right now, I'll use workflow, I'll click on choose, and we are welcomed to the interface for Automator. So, to give a very good example, I actually prepared a folder containing 39 photos. All these photos are JPEGs. I would like to change the format of JPEG to a PNG file. A normal process will require me to double click on the image, which opens in preview, go to preview, click on export, and in export, convert it from JPEG to PNG. You can see that it takes a number of steps. Really, really frustrating if you want to do more than 100 photos. With Automator, we just create a workflow. And the workflow is very, very simple. So here's what we can do. We will need to do something to the photos. So over here in photos, it says a lot of options here. We're going to convert it. We want to change the type of images. So I want to drag the change of type images from what you see here, the column on the left and drag it to the right. Notice that by doing so, it says that you need to add a copy. So the copies are changed or just to preserve. This is suggestions are there to prevent you from doing serious damage to your files. Always follow it if possible, unless you know what you're doing. So I'm gonna click on add, and automatically it says copy find items and change the type image. I'm gonna change it to say a PNG. Now, copy find the items is the beginning, but it still didn't give me a choice of adding a find the items. So I need to go to file and folder, and I need to say get say selected find the items, for example. All right, now let's try it. And let's see if it works. I'm going to click on Run. Okay, notice that it just stops. And that's because selected the find item was that. It copied it, but it didn't copy it to anywhere else, and it didn't do anything. That means my workflow is incomplete. So you will need to explore the, the workflow that you want to use. So I'm going to change this to Get Folder Contents and I need to get selected to find the item, and I'm going to highlight this folder again, run it. Ah, notice that there's a difference? Because I selected the finder, it's going to copy, get the folder, copy everything out, 
and for each particular file, convert it. You can see that it's being done right in front of my eyes. JPEG to PNG, one by one, for all 40 photos, 39 of them actually. And once it's done, it completes it. You even give you a report of how long it took to do that. And it's almost done right now. Right now we're almost at the end. And that's about it. Done. 33 seconds to convert 39 photos from JPEG to PNG. So once you explore Automator, you can find that it actually saves you a lot of time. And it's not only limited to converting photos. So I'll leave those photos as it is. I want to change the name of the file over here. It's the same thing actually. So I'm going to use the same method. I will remove the photo, but this time I'm going to rename the find the items. Let me click on don't add because I don't want to copy. I just want it to select, which I'm going to select the folder, get the folder content and rename it. So I'm going to add the date and time just above it. Let's run and see what happens. So I'm going to highlight this, run. Notice that every single folder just got renamed with the date and time that I want. I don't have to manually rename each file. Automator has done it for me. Very useful. So do explore what Automator has to offer over here. Things like internet, perhaps you can say, get the content of web page, you can set a rule, explore what you can do. There's a lot of methods here. You could say that, get every single content from a web page, maybe a selection of web page, or maybe 20, 30 links, and then convert into PDF. Instead of you doing it manually one by one, create an automator telling it to open every single link and get the image, get the article, whichever it is, save it as PDF. Very useful. These are suggestions, so please explore what Automator has to offer. And once you're more confident, you can do lots of things in Automator itself. I hope that you find this example illuminating and useful. Please explore and experiment. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Support us and like us and follow us on our social media, be it Facebook, YouTube, or of course, Twitter and leave us your comments on what you find interesting or what you want to learn. And until next time, this is Ken from Switch saying goodbye.